Turn away. <laughs> see? Ah, there you go. All right. So we're going to test to see um, what the natural length of the hamstring feels like to me. So just tell me when you, whenever you feel tight. It'd be interesting what you said about fascia because I think it might even be about fascia. So yeah. I'm feeling, yeah, yeah, it's starting to at the back of the knee. Yeah, I've got you straight away here yeah. too. So that's... Shit. <laughs> 40 yeah. degrees. Well, that's 90. Yeah, that's, that's where we 45. should be. Yeah. Is that, yeah? Mm. So we should be... We should be yeah. up here somewhere. Mm -hmm. And she's a little bit tight. I'm going to have a feel of this other one. Let's try not to help. Okay. And it's starting to about now at the back of the Yeah. It's really interesting because when, when you have clients, um, she's actually, she feels a, there's a breathe out. Yeah. She contracted here first. She did a breath. There was all sorts of stuff it. that yeah. was going, so I would actually, even though that was higher, I would say that this is your more dysfunctional side. It is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you pick up any of that crazy woo-woo stuff? The second <laughs> that I lifted, the, she contracts. So if someone's contracting when you lift, you know that there's there's protection going on. She's using another muscle group to assist yeah. because there's a dysfunction. If they do that, just shake their leg when they're coming up. Um, I'm not going to do that side because your partner can do that side. Okay. So we've tested the hamstring length and we know it's it's about 40 degrees. I'm going to take that leg up and externally rotate it. So now that we're externally rotated, yeah, this flies up your last time, we're testing the hip flexor, the psoas iliacus. It attaches to the anterior bodies of T12, lumbar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and onto the uh, lesser trochanter. Yeah? Everyone remembers that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stabilise your pelvis with my other hand. And I'm, going to, and I'm going to ask you, can you hold this leg up if I take my hand away? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hold it up there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. She's already contracting the quad. Hold it there. Don't let me move it. Yeah. Okay. I managed to hold that leg up, but could you see there's, there's yeah. all this extra muscles to yeah. perform that Long task? Trip. Yeah. Look, it made a bruise, see? <laughs> <laughs> and the third test we're going to do, so we've tested, we've done a pre-test for the hamstring, like we did a pre-test for the supraspinatus. We tested the psoas, and now we're going to test the glutes. So her heel and her knee, are in a, that's, we'll always keep it that as our benchmark. Okay. Keep your heel down on my hand and on the table, and don't let me lift it off the table. Hold okay. it down, nice and strong. Oh, so yeah, yeah. she's moving. Yeah, yeah. So I'm using my my trap to do that job. I'm not doing a bent elbow. So it's, it's yeah. No, you don't get another choice. <laughs> and she's also doing Try the whole. Yeah. 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 So if I, yeah, yeah. So if I really want to make her um, clench your jaw down as tight as you can, don't yeah. let me lift it off. Yeah. And it's mm. yeah. There's all sorts of stuff going on there to try mm. to keep it down. So what do you get to clench her jaw so I she just, won't? I just wanted to see, because sometimes you can clench down and it'll make everything weak. So we'll, we'll play with that. But her pure strength test for her glutes was weak and her hip flexors were really weak. All right, so we're going to do the facilitation. You can stop that now. <laughs> 